How you guys doing today? I don't know. This, these kids have this door open. Collect them. So if you see something flying around here, I don't know if it's possibly a fly or something like that. But it's going to drive me insane. However, guys, um, they have folks out here that's trying to tackle with you guys' this energy, okay? But spell work, collect them. So make sure that you guys are in this high vibration and you are vibing high and you are reaching for the stars and you stay positive, okay? Make sure your vibration rises, okay? Make sure you stay around people that can help rise your vibration as well because that's very much important um, that you do so. Also, make sure that you guys are praying and, and meditating on the word of the Lord day and night, even if you read a Bible verse a day or night. Make sure that you get that good energy in you at all times and you stay prayed up, okay, you guys? Because um, it's the great fall going on right now, collective. Um, Spirit guided me to the angel light stone, okay? And this angel light stone it, uh, typically means to be without water, okay? So these people here, whoever this may be that's playing with this spell work nonstop, collective, it's just like... They're suffering. Spirit is saying long suffering as well. Okay? So this is some type of long suffering that, that someone is going through here collective. So make sure that you guys are vibing high. Okay? Someone just purchased some stones here. Okay? And also the meaning of someone been studying the meaning of what stones mean exactly. Guys, when I was out today, I saw a crow. And I stopped. And I started speaking to the crow. And it, it kind of like spoke to me. And then it kind of like put its head down. Like it was taking a bow at me collective. I'm not making this up. I don't. All of these heavenly signs that I'm I'm picking up on. Is letting me know that this is a shift that's taking place collective. This is a shift that's taking place here. With um, energies. With, with people in general. It can even be like a restaurant you may enter, like fast food or just a restaurant where you can sit down at and you will, you will have a strange encounter. It's like these people see your light, like they are drawn to you because of your light. And then whoever these people may be, this is even strangers. Whoever these people may be, it's like they, they, are, they are in this type of controlling type of energy. Like they want you to... Or basically order what what they want. Uh, people is really overstepping their boundaries here, collective, and that's what's going on here. Okay, they're really trying to dominate the collective. Okay, and and we we have been told to keep our temper. We have to, been told to be assertive, and this is exactly what we have been doing. We have been um being obedient to the divine, to God Himself, most importantly. Okay. We have been so obedient, and it's just like folks can sense that you have this type of obedient type of aura on you. And so they start to project onto you. It's like when you meet up with these people, you don't even want to make eye contact with these folks because it's like you can see their demons collective. And this is very real, like, and they get bothered when you look them eye to eye, give them some type of eye contact possibly upset because they can't keep your attention on an eye to eye basis for long enough to try to or drain your energy without you knowing everyone that's that's operating from a karmic point of view they know that they know that you can see they know that yeah, they know that your third eye is activated collective. And that's what Spirit is telling me. That's just on the up and up. They know that your third eye is activated. They know that you can see. It's like strangers. It's really mainly people that you don't even know. Like never spoke to before. This could be a first time meeting. It's just like you can see. Okay? And they can also feel and see the light on you collective. Excuse me. They can see it on you. What is this one to come out? Look, 
good luck is on your side when I pick these up because I'm trying to move them out the way and these two just came down. Good luck is on your side. Someone could be a Sagittarius here or you are someone that embodied this Sagittarius energy. You could be a Sagittarius or have this in your chart a lot and this is all about the truth. Like you you really tapped in into the truth of things, okay? And, and this is how you made. This is how you set up. It's like accept it or take it or leave it and when it comes down to you being true to you and being true to your beliefs okay and it's not so much of a belief system but god is enlightening you every day and giving you more and more messages every day and and letting you know at the same time do not ignore the heavenly signs do not ignore the messages from the divine here this is exactly what's going on okay spirit wants you to know that good luck is on your side collective and this is a great day to play the lottery as well it's not not so much about lottery though you already have good luck on your side period whether it's from that standpoint or just overall for some of you you are lucky to wake up every day you praise god for just getting you up and, and letting you be alive and letting you be healthy and things of that sort and someone knows that you are trying to heal your heart from different areas and different you know and from different angles as well because it's like every time it's like every time or you know, you encounter someone or anyone. It could be positive energy that they let off, but it's, it's a switch. It's like they start off genuine, and then when they really tap into your energy by being next to you or close to you, your energy is contagious. And what I mean by being next to you or close to you, they can feel that you are being of light. Your light is radiant. You are radiant. Some of you guys' skin could be glowing, okay, just for nothing, okay? Just for nothing, the light, what's going on internally is, is showing outwardly, okay? It's showing in, in, in the physical and other people can see it. And, and this is a problem for most folks, guys. Okay, we have balanced spirituality and practicality sitting right here. I don't, listen, good luck is on your side and, and spirit is saying to balance spirituality and practicality. practicality. Someone can be a Pisces here or someone have water in their chart okay this could also be a Sagittarius that was dealing with a Pisces here and a Pisces could have removed themselves from something here that's the first scenario remove themselves out of some type of dynamic here whether work related love related and, and someone feel like they are they like without water like this fire you feel like it's without water without this person here or something like that or you can have Sagittarius or Pisces in your chart or it can be in your north node or your south node okay something is going on here collective and it's going on nationwide see people think when you get on here you just point out something that happened with your life it may resonate with your life it may not just because I get the messages that don't mean that it's resonating with my life most things do and, and and most things don't I take what applies and I leave the rest okay and and this is what spirit wants you guys to do try to not focus on things that you hear that you know do not resonate with your life focus on what you know is really happening in your life and is your current or past situation and you cannot hide from your truth that's the reason why Sagittarius came out first the sign of truth because you cannot hide from your truth your past or your present whatever it may be so this is what's going on right now at this time okay Spirit wants you to get the messages that are for you. It's millions and billions and trillions of people in the world. So it's like everything is not going to resonate with you. Some, you might get lucky and get a general message that may, that's for everyone, but it can be your whole entire story. But the rest of it, leave it where it do not apply. Okay? Leave it, leave it, set it to the side and focus on what you know really happened to you. Okay, collector? That's what we're doing. And Spirit wanted me to share that with you guys. Look, we have worked through your fears. Look, we have Scorpio here. So, so Scorpio here, you could have Sagittarius, Pisces, or Scorpio in your chart. Or you could have been dealing with one. Work through your fears. And the color purple back here is representing that the divine is protecting you. The divine, like you are a God in light. So work through 
work through your fears. And what I'm picking up about fears is by me being Scorpio at this time, I'm picking up the fear is you being like fully exposed for knowing if I make it sense. You could also have this in and you're rising and it's like you could have had a conversation with god and he told you you know don't feel bad that's that that's people trying to make you feel bad okay about your divine gifts your kingdom gifts okay to be exact your kingdom gifts don't don't feel like you know you out you out hurting others because that's how they want you to feel just work through your fears and and work confidently when it comes down to you explaining and doing your task at hand, okay, that I told you to do, okay, so many Scorpios may be going through something similar to that, like, you didn't really want to be exposed, um, expose the full truth of things, because you're so loving, okay, you really are, only time people get the, the dark side of a, a Scorpio is the, if they keep on trying to press up against one, that's one thing you shouldn't do, Especially, you know, if someone have this in their chart in and, and, and it's like in a, in a, um, in a, like their sun, their rising or their moon. This is highly intuitive people. Some of you are Scorpio sun and a Scorpio rising. Okay. These are people that are very serious, very highly intuitive, but also have a sense of humor. Also very down to earth here. Okay. But at the same time, this scorpion here feels very deeply. Okay, everything and the scorpion is always cautious. So if the Scorpio is always cautious, that means that they're always cautious about what they say and everything. Everything is thought through. Nothing just really come out unless a Scorpio just don't care anymore. And the only way you can get one to not care about you or care about how you feel is if you disrespect them. Okay, we are very big on respecting and being disrespected. And that's just the bottom line. Okay, like Spirit was telling me like to just uh, seize the moment because it's like, because you have a platform, they feel like they can come on your platform and tell you how you should do things and, and tell you what to say and try to direct you in a way that they want you to go just because they are viewing or subscribing to the channel it don't go like they okay that it really doesn't it, it really doesn't resonate with a scorpio at all especially not me because it's like i'm doing this for a great cause this is not to hurt anyone in particular this is not to come after anyone this is simply to let you guys know what i know what god is telling me is a part of my calling it's a part of my purpose that's why i do it Okay, but at the end of the day, like disrespect, being disrespectful in the comments and things of that sort, that's a form of projection. Okay, you guys really don't know. I have a life too outside of this and I don't come on here projecting what I'm going through onto you guys. I come on here and give you the messages that I'm told to give you guys and then I dip set. Okay. I do my part. I do my job and I'm here to hurt, here to help, but I'm not here to be hurt. Okay, in no way, form, or fashion, and I'm not going to accept that, and I'm not going to accept disrespect either. If it do not resonate with you, then it's not your message. It may even be someone that's close to you. I just told you, if you are a divine being, your energy is contagious. So, was you know, it could be rubbing your energy could be rubbing off on someone else, and if they can be using it for bad. Okay, so you have to be very mindful of that at the same time. And we have been learning that our ancestors have been telling us to hold it down and stand our ground. But we also have been training for this for lifetimes. And we also know that we are not going to really make it anywhere always being confrontational. Because anything that have to do with confrontation, God is not involved in it. Okay? He's not involved in it at all. So what, what I'm saying is collective, just please be respectful to me because I respect all of you, okay? I'm not like a punching bag. I'm not someone that you can just tell anything to. And um, 
you know, I do have a sense of humor. I do have, I am empathic. I do sympathize with people and things of like that. So no messages go unread, but I'm not going to like just like the message just because you put it up there and you being disrespectful to me or my collective. It's not just about me. And that's the thing. That's the reason why I'm doing this. It's not just about me. It's about all of us here. So at the end of the day, it's, it's to respect people in the collective. When I ask you guys to block someone, that's for all of our safety. It's not just me being mean or anything of that sort because I, I I don't, I think, uh, listen, nobody don't want to really see me mean, okay? Nobody don't re really want to see me go there because you will know the difference of if I'm upset and when I'm being true, okay? Like, true because I don't even know myself when I lose it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not bragging or anything of that sort, but I'm just telling you. So there's no such thing as I come on here mad or anything like that. I try my best. If I'm mad, I'm not going to even do a reading. There's no purpose for me to try to channel with God if God is not a God of confusion and just come on here and project just to get some views. I'm not going to do that. But at the end of the day, I do want to be respected here. And I'm, I will stand my ground. I'm not going to just let you come on here and this is my platform and come on here and disrespect me. Okay? If I block them, they come back and do another page. And that's only to interfere with the ones that already tapped in and subscribed. You know, that's only to uh, make them think that this is how she'll treat you guys. You should unsubscribe. That's just people that don't have anything to do with their day or with their life. This is people that's not doing anything i have things that i'm working on outside of this as well but this is this for me given the messages of god came first okay i could have been tapped into something else but i knew it was gonna it was gonna be an epic fail because i wasn't standing in my purpose okay so this is just what i wanted to briefly give y'all a summary of about me the ones that just came in, I see five and I see four, four, four. So that's like changes are coming and also you surrounded by the angels. And I feel someone here getting very emotional because you feel what I'm saying, but it's okay. All right. I feel it. Like, all right. I really do. I really do. All right. This is all facts here. I'm not here to try to hurt no one. I'm not here to try to bow down to no one either. That's not my purpose of coming here. My purpose is to help. And if I'm not a help to you, then maybe they have other people that are, that are give you exactly what you want. But that's not what I'm here for. OK. And it has nothing to do with me wanting to control anything, even though this is my platform. I'm not on no controlling type time. I'm on real time. Okay, I'm on real time and that's the ones that I want to be here with me, the real ones. Okay, the ones that I can gain trust and relationship with, whether we in different countries, different states, it does not matter. We still all connected if you are part of the soul tribe, but I'm not going to get on here and get disrespected and then have to give you all some good news. Think about how that make me feel as well. All right, because everything that's coming from me, I feel like it's good. Because I have no bad intentions behind it. There's nothing um, calculated about what I'm coming on here to do. I'm not coming here to bash nobody or hurt nobody. This is real life events. Okay? Look, Silly of Me is on, I think her name, Minnie something. How I Love You. Okay, yes, and that's the divine saying, listen, put love out there. And that's what I'm here for you guys. Okay? When we love, we love deeply. All of that. And and this something how ju this just popped up. I don't think I ever saw this one before. We probably did, but I don't recall. Or if we did, it was way in the beginning. Okay? Messages ago. All right? So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And I know anyone that has this Pluto up in them, they feel me and they understand. And if, even if you don't, you understand. And thank you guys. I told you guys I appreciate you guys, and I, I know that you guys appreciate me too, the ones that genuinely do, okay? And those calls just came out, collector. So let's see what's going on here. There's no certain person that I'm picking up on and I'm trying to bash. That's not what I'm here for. That's not what I'm doing. And if that's how it came all to you guys... 
or anyone, then they it was wrong. Okay, but spirit told me not to be not to apologize for me doing what he told me to do and what my calling is. So I'm not, you know, it's not that I'm, you know, I don't sympathize and empathize with people. But at the end of the day, I got to do what God tell me to do. Holy Spirit. Thank you, guys. What else do we have there, Holy Spirit? self-employment so some of you guys this could be you could be growing something behind the scenes and it's gonna flourish okay this is what's going to happen someone is in the energy of becoming self-sufficient and self-employed and this is what's going on here what do we have here wow self-employment and windfall came out collector self-employment and windfall came out Okay, look at this, you guys. And this is the reason why you are receiving this collective. Anything you touch turn into gold. You are receiving this. And people can feel this on you. Listen to me. Okay? People can feel this on you. They can see it on you. Most of you can't even see this or didn't see this on yourself until recently. You just possibly started feeling this way. About I'm bigger than what I'm doing right now currently. I'm bigger than my current job. I'm bigger than my current situation. And so spirit say, I'm we're gonna make sure, okay? I have the divine working for you guys. I'm gonna make sure that you get this windfall. Hold on, because they had this door open collective, and these I don't know what these little bugs is that's flying. Okay, a windfall is what you guys are receiving. Okay, and most of you already in this type of abundant energy already. Okay, most of you could be millionaires, billionaires, that's here as well. Okay, the, listen, you never know who watching. You never know who listening. Okay, you just never, you just never know. I don't know. You see what I'm saying about these bugs and stuff? Some spell work is going on collective because i don't even know what this is that's flying around up in here collective honestly i don't do bugs oh what is this finances guys you getting a windfall in your finances or this already happened you understand over there too queen club they at my place too high christian switch a room what's goody goody this was going on, collective. You getting the windfall in your finances, okay? Yes, I don't know if these some type of spying bugs or whatever, but yes, okay. When I saw that bird, guys, I'm gonna post a picture of it, okay? It was in a when I got out my uh, truck, they were sitting there chirping at me, okay? And when I say hi, how you guys doing today? Okay, and they started saying something like they was like singing or something, and and you know crows is a representation of good luck as well. People say that when you see black crows, it means that yeah, if it's on top of your head, but not if you know it's just around you. It could be a spiritual animal as well. Okay, something going on. Crows just misunderstood. What about the eagle? Is I need somebody to tell me. That's what I be having y'all here for. Y'all want me to give y'all a donkey of the day? <laughs> All I know is eagle eyes. That's it. <laughs> now, if you want me to get on here and make a clean fool of myself, I can't. <laughs> I have one of those every single day, collective, and that's just a part of my good nature. I always have a don't care of the day. Okay, look, join in. Okay? You had the episode of what yesterday? Oh, child. Look, it says join in. So good luck is on your side and it's clarified by join in, collective. Okay? It's clarified by join in here. Babe, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I see 
7755 collective. The good luck is on y'all side. Join in. And this was spirit is telling you guys, raise your vibration. This is what you got a soul tribe family for. If you're feeling down and out, just pray to the father that one of your trusted confidants, okay, that that you listen to or talk to come through for you so you could vi raise your vibration. Okay, it can happen together. Okay, we have joined in here, collective. And and most of you been talking to y'all heart. Way to go, collective. Most of y'all been healing y'all heart valve. If I'm making sense, right? Like y'all, y'all heart chakras. I say valve. That go to don't care today, right there. See, <laughs> do y'all be missing them? Cause I be saying them, <laughs> but I meant heart chakra, right? You guys have been talking to your heart. You and some of y'all, if y'all like, I'm talking about you will try to drift off, and then you like, no, 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 I gotta talk to my heart. I gotta make sure my heart is healing. My heart is on one accord with my mind, so my body can follow. Okay, my soul can follow. Everything can be on one accord, and this is what balance. Uh, spirituality and practicality mean you be practical when you talk to yourself every genius do okay and anybody that says that they don't talk to themselves and answer themselves they're not telling the true collective every genius do every genius do and it could be uh a pisces that's here as well that they, they always talk to themselves because it's like two fish here so one be saying one thing and the other say something else and it's like hold on we need to come together and get on one accord here all right what a gang <laughs> what else going on here holy spirit send them in the feelings Send them in the feelings, okay? Yes. And, and this is what I mean by, like, feeling emotional and feel everything. Someone is having gone through some type of uh, episode. I just heard episode of balancing spirituality, practicality, and having sentimental feelings about it. Because somebody is, by something shifting here, somebody has awakened to exactly what they should be doing here. And someone is tapped in, whatever this Pisces, if you are Pisces or someone have this in their chart, they tapped in in this, uh, from this Pisces or uh, aspect of things and they're very emotional about the things that they have learned and the things that they're feeling at this time here collective it could also be a pisces and a sagittarius and also someone is stuck on a relationship here spirit is telling someone don't be sentimental here work through your fears okay because Listen, you can be sentimental, but just don't dwell on it. That's what I'm picking up on. Like, don't stay stuck in this energy. Like, tap into your sentimental side. Embrace those feelings. Balance spirituality and practicality and keep it moving. Okay? Because that's what we're doing. We got to be on the move out here because great things, great things is waiting for us, collective. What else? Changing your mind. Someone could have changed their mind about something here. It have worked through your fears. So this is the divine change you guys' is mind. Okay? You, you could have changed your mind from... You, some of you could have been dealing with sentimental feelings. And then you, you were stuck in this energy right here. And you had to work through your fears. And everyone saw that you were sentimental about something. Or you were going through something that was personal to you. So you changed your mind about feeling that way. Okay? And it also could be work related, okay? This could be a coworker or something that's that's spiritual just like you, okay? Or someone that's very practical here. Okay? That is that I chop it up or that means speak to you right quick about something and then you know, go on about their day. But they don't know that whatever y'all spoke about, you needed that type of healing and uh, or those words of encouragement or empowerment to carry on through the rest of your day. And you say, I'm not going to live my life like this. I'm not going to be like this. Okay? And it also could be about a boss here. Something a boss could have done. Okay? So you guys are really investing. Some of you are working while you invest into something that's going to bring you in your own uh, great fortune and you're going to become self-sufficient and self-employed, okay? What else, Holy Spirit? 
or someone is so someone is sentimental about becoming self-employed like someone could actually be celebrating here all right that can also be what's going on thank you holy spirit spiritual growth Someone could be celebrating their spiritual growth. And, and they, listen, all see, this is how God operates. You will go out there and do the work and God get the glory. And that's the reason why, look, since you spiritually grew, God blessing you with something that's, that you're going to blossom in being self-employed. You see how it goes? That's how it goes. And God wants you to lean on him for everything. He wants you to depend on him and lean on him. And that's why you're getting this windfall. What else, Holy Spirit? Wow, that flew out. Guys, look what came out the deck. Look what flew out the deck. Heavenly signs. Weren't we just speaking on this? It flew clean out the deck. Collective, whoever you guys are, you guys are way too powerful. And I want you to know, if you doubted yourself for one minute, guys, you are very, very powerful. Okay? Please know that. Please know that you can speak whatever you want into existence here. You are getting a windfall in your finances because you paid attention to the heavenly signs. Okay? You right here. You know these are things that you can pick up out the grass or somewhere and you can blow it. I forgot what they call it. I think it starts with a W like a, a windmill or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, okay? But this is the thing that you pick up and blow and make a wish. All your wishes are being fulfilled. You guys are going up. Whatever this self-employment investment is or whatever this is you have going on, you're going up. Some of you could be investing in Bitcoin as well. It's cryptocurrency, okay? I'm picking up on that. I'm picking up on stocks and everything. Some people here are already rich. Look, Spirit say keep the faith. You're going to blossom. Look at all these flowers. You're going to blossom. Listen, Spirit say your finances is going to blossom. Keep the faith. Keep the faith because you guys been hurt. Listen, you've been, you been through so much collective. You really been through so much. This journey was not easy for no one involved. Okay? This was not easy for no one involved. Some of you are getting some type of windfall. I don't care how it come. Something is going to happen. If you are out, if like if you're retired, you may be like, well, this message is not for me. I guarantee you, you're going to receive some type of windfall of money. And it's going to be just for you. It's already done. If you did the work, you got to believe. And that's the reason why Spirit telling you, make sure you keep the faith. Believe what you're hearing. Believe what you say to yourself. Some of you have been manifesting. Some of you have been manifesting this reality for you guys. Okay? But you just didn't know how it was going to come. So Spirit is telling you that you're going to be self-employed. Or most of you already are. Okay? What else? Look. Let's see. That's a dietary change in the reverse. Okay, I don't know who that's resonating with. Why would I pick this up? This right here, star seed. Okay, what lights you up? Spirit know that you being so sufficient and being able to have the ability to leave a legacy behind, this is what's gonna light you up. And since you are the star seed, your wishes are being granted. Look, we have a leap right here. Okay, it said that you go first, the universe will catch you. Most of you already went. Most of you already went, and this is why you are receiving this here. You want to receive it in the things. Look, a great gathering, okay? There's multiple people here. It's all coming together. You guys are from everywhere. It's all coming together, okay? Intuitive hit soul tribe, okay? This says keepers of the earth, all right? You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. So your ancestors want you to know that they stand right beside you. So there's no need to fear, okay? And and they, they your ancestors even help you work through your fears because that's right here. We have unbound here. And what I'm getting from this right now, unbound means unbound from the old way of thinking collective. Let it go. It says release and soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Let go of what's holding you in bondage from your from the good side of things. Because we have luck is on your side right here. And it's representing such as energy because you are true. 
okay? Because you are so true. Listen, and you joined in with your soul tribe. Don't forget, join in came out. Since you did this, you getting rewarded for this, and God is getting the glory. That's the only person you're going to be giving glory to, the Holy Spirit, okay? Birth in a new age. Birth in new creations. Dreaming a new world into being. Some of you could have had a dream about what your life is going to be like. It like... Or it could have came in the form of like it was someone else's life, okay? Just to be hidden away from you until God got ready to reveal it to you. But you saw it. But you got a glimpse of it. Look what's in my hand. Trust the niggle, okay? What is your niggling feeling trying to tell you, okay? Let's see what else we got here, all right? But I think I should be pulling from the energy oracle deck, you guys, okay? Let's get the current energies to see if you guys... Uh, with it most of you are though okay uh, all of you are something about changing the way that you speak picking up share the old share the old okay just because you grew up in it that don't mean that that have to be your outcome your outcome or that has to be your outcome uh, yeah okay spirit says someone or uh, someone here started with crumbs someone started with breadcrumbs and and ended up with a whole loaf and that's how you guys gonna end up even if it's one loaf think about what jesus did with that one loaf of bread okay he fed the whole nation with it okay it was more than enough collector what else do we have the holy spirit wow guys look blossoming in abundance Guys, you have to believe this, okay? You have to believe this. Yes, definitely from rags to riches, okay? Definitely this. This is what's happening right now. Join in, okay? Join in. Spirit is telling everyone to join in. The magician in the mirror here, this is someone that knew how to manifest, and this is someone that finally, finally balanced out spirituality and practicality and this is what someone could have been in the mirror doing here collective okay someone could even be in their 50s 35 the number three is out there okay spirit say this is from the fall of the sun and the holy spirit this abundance that you guys are receiving here this windfall that you're receiving here just keep the faith you getting it because you stepped into your power and you spiritual grew okay so when growth is on the end we can see say grow we could say grew like went like after it's already done. And this right here is representing the definition, the ending of things like growth. You done it, you succeeded. You already succeeded in that area, collective. Congratulations. If nobody didn't tell you so, congratulations. What do we have here? Angel of strength. Okay, you guys are definitely in your God-given power here, collective. Look, no, strategy in the reverse. There's no more strategizing, okay? Some of you were in deep thought about how things were going to go and when it was going to take off in 2021 here. Someone could definitely be 50 years old here as well. Or something about 53 or 50. I don't know if it's 50,000, 53. Someone here is 39. Okay, we have Archangel Gabriel here. Someone's throat chakra is opening up. Someone could be born in 1993. Someone could be 21 as well. What else, Holy Spirit? Wow, guys. Listen. Listen up. Listen up. If these action cards come out one more time. And this let me know that you guys are moving. It's in a good way, okay? Because this let me know that you guys are active. This let me know that you guys are moving. And I love it. And I love it. See, this will float my boat. 
right here action and i know it's the same for the collective okay action is being taken here the number 17 on here and maybe someone's door number or something mailbox number broken spot number something about this 17 or 1971 angel of love guys i listen yes you guys are definitely made the love some god says you are you are his angels we got three angels out here so far already okay look journey at the bottom of the deck all right journey at the bottom of the deck keep the fate about this journey okay you guys could have been coming from out of financial constraints okay or you could be coming out of it you could have severed ties with poverty just like god said do right and you could have been thinking that you was going to be in this energy of like going like going up and down in your finances and you was having financial constraints god said live freely okay we already know that you guys are conscious consumers that you're not just gonna gonna get out here and just blow your money on anything you probably was in that energy doing that in the past but not anymore not anymore you are leveling up on all type of levels look i see one two three and we have the angel of love right here as well okay the divine love you so much that this is over financial constraints with you guys and most of you guys going to see it because god god words after god give word then action follows that's how it always go that's how it always go what else Hold it. what the what else see i be wanting to get these bugs i don't know what this is flying what else holy spirit I got a spray or something. What's going on, Holy Spirit? Anxiety. Look, it's in the reverse collective. No more anxiety. This that's the ending to you guys having anxiety here about how you gonna do this, how this gonna turn out. Don't worry. Don't worry. What do we have here? Wow, guys. Listen, we have Archangel Raphael here. Nothing but healing, extra healing going on here. We have Archangel Shamuel here, okay? Y'all, someone could have tried to block you guys' uh, third chakra here. Well, Archangel Shamuel here, okay? Somebody could have did some type of spell work on you guys' uh, plexus solar plexus but it's returning to them okay yeah look we have a camera connection here you guys this is what's going on here all right whoever this is you in this camera connection with both of you guys are divine 77 77 equals 14 y'all equally yoked okay this is your equal whoever this may be yeah one two three seven seven okay good luck is on you guys side it's right here okay it's right here Whoever, whoever trying to work against you guys with spell work, it's not going to work. It's, it's, it's immediately returning to them collective. The Holy Spirit, give us some on whoever this is that's doing the spell work on the collective. Please, we want to know. Beloved ancestors, give us the messages, please. Daughter romance. Some, someone, someone ended something with. What else? Adjacent possibilities in the reverse. What else? Your ancestors been waiting. Rest and rejuvenation in the reverse. They're not getting no sleep at night, collective. They're not getting no sleep in the daytime. This look like it's daytime, wherever this person is. They're not getting any sleep, collective, at all, whatsoever. Okay? This could be possibly the ones that's trying to visit you in your sleep. You could be 33, 24, something about the number 18, 19, 37, 38. What else, Holy Spirit? Give us more about these common people. What are they doing at this time with this spell work? We want to know. Look, yeah, they're doing chakra magic, but it's not working. You guys still standing strong, okay? They thought they could get you from a, a different angle and, and catch you vulnerable, but it didn't work out that way. Someone could be 36 here that this is happening to. It could even be a 63-year-old or someone born in 1963 that's doing this or someone that's 63 that's here. Yeah, look, 
Okay, we are walking away. Somebody doing spell work on you because you walked away, collective. You could be 27, born in 1972. Yep, look, you walked away and you chose your temple path. Okay, and this is the reason why they they getting busy trying to stop you, mess up everything you got going on. But spirit put that on front row. Okay, you guys are getting uh, just you gonna be the and at that the head of whatever this feast is that God prepared for you guys. You the head of that right now. Okay, you sitting there, and you sitting pretty collective. Give us more Holy Spirit. Look, heal of all ages. This is you guys. Archangel Raphael here. We have the um, the magician in the mirror. You guys are healing everything. Okay? Y'all healing everything left and right. That's what's going on here. Look, they wanted a tower to hit you guys, but it's in the reverse. It's returning to cinder. It's returning to cinder, Spirit is saying. Okay? And we're going to leave it in there because Spirit says it's returning to cinder. Okay? What's going on, Holy Spirit? They try to stop a tower from hitting as well. They want to cause a tower moment on you guys as healing. Okay? What else, Holy Spirit? Door the Spirit in the reverse. Door the Spirit, God say no. God say no, collector. Pretty much Jesus Christ. He said no. What else? Stone warning again. Spirit said it's definitely a stone warning. Okay, most definitely a storm warning, and then the reverse is even worse. Storm after storm is happening, tower after tower. What else, Holy Spirit? Let's see, why is this storm warning called here? Okay, wow, look what flew out broken heart. Okay, somebody going through a tower moment because they have a broken heart about what Holy Spirit about a woman holding a heart. Someone took their love away from someone here. Someone going through this about uh um someone took their heart from a woman, some love from a woman here. Someone could be 44 that did this. Okay, with someone is dealing with financial constraints, that's the reason why. And though the value is in the reverse, somebody realized that someone wasn't valuable here. Okay. Or realize that someone was only trying to be with them and stick to them due to them being the daughter value. Okay? Somebody just thought that they wasn't going to do the work and get a walk through here, collective. Look, man holding a heart. I'm telling you, this woman holding a heart here took their love away. Okay? That's the other scenario. We are man holding a heart in the reverse. Somebody took their heart from someone, snatched it right out of someone's hand because someone didn't know what to do with it. And now someone, whoever this man is right here, that, that's in the reverse, a man holding a heart, he holding this heart. Okay, it's broke. Nine, nine could be significant. They have 45 on here. Hostilities. Yep. This is what's going on. The same old, same old collective. Nothing is changing. If you ever try to pick up on these people, it's energy that's against you. It's going to be the same thing over and over and over again. It's not changing. It's getting worse, collective. 47, 47, 11, 11. It's the divine doing this. Someone could be 26, 62, or born in 1962. Look, we have a thinking man here. Why is the thinking man here? We have a 46-year-old here. Or someone born in 64. And 46 is broken down to a 10. Yep. They have a thinking man here that's thinking about you guys here. And this happy family that they want with you guys. That we have indecision here. This could be a thinking man that was in having indecision about choosing you or choosing all this all these different hostilities here, collective. All these people are getting calm. What else, Holy Spirit? Look, the world. Okay? Someone was in indecision. Why is the world called here? Something about the number 8 or 29. Somebody's about a birthday. It could be August 29th. Look, yin and yang. This somebody person here. Okay? This is somebody twin flame here. So it's two different energies. These comic individuals wanted you guys to be, wanted this thinking man to be caught up in indecision here. Spirit is saying and also the first scenario could apply. But this man want a new cycle with you. They want this happy family with you. And they know that you are the person. Okay? Into the gang. This is going to happen this year, collective. Okay? This is going to happen this year. Yes, it is. For the ones that's doing the work and want this, it's happening. You getting what you want. And everybody is not on one accord. Okay? Everybody wants something different. 
okay and everybody have their own free will to want what they want this is nothing forced is this is something that you gotta receive okay if you ask god for this this is what's going to happen for you if you tell god that you don't want it then it's not going to happen okay because guess what in most cases majority of the time you're going to do exactly what god tell you to do but people still have a tendency to do what they want to do and that's why sin is in the world and god understands all of that at the same time okay we serve a god of understanding a god that overstands everything okay we serve the creator so with that being said at the end of the day it's like you can go out here but as long as you make the right choice that's how god feel about it okay if you be obedient then you get rewarded if you go against god then you feel the rapture it's simple as that that's what's going on here look deceit in the reverse okay deceit in the reverse somebody is taking action somebody is no longer being deceived somebody got deceived out of their truth in their true person and getting to the yang here okay they had somebody stuck at a crossroad here like literally in in the middle of a road didn't know which way to go should they take this sign ahead in your direction or take this other sign ahead in the other direction? But somebody, something about this hostility is called. Why is the hostility is called standing out, Holy Spirit? Wow, a dark comic attachment. You cannot make this up. This is who this is. And this is the reason why someone is starting to use their head. They already started and they already picked what they want to do here to have this happy family here, start this new cycle here with the yin to their yang here. Okay, and this is what's going on. Somebody already chose this already, and that's what's happening. Somebody getting exactly what they want. If somebody chose a, a comic attachment, they still getting what they want. Okay, they still getting what they want. I see eight, eight, eight. You guys, you guys focusing on this abundance. That's what's going on, yeah, and this is the reason why they envy your success, okay? B said what? Best revenge is your paper, and that's how most of you guys feel like, okay, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to tap into this hostile energy. I'm going to focus on my coins. And that's what you guys are doing here. And that was the best decision you could have made. And this could even be someone here that was stuck between indecision. Should I stay with this dark attachment that don't care about me? Or should I focus on my finances? Just put everything that I have into what I'm trying to do. So somebody made the right choice and the right decision here. And for most of whoever this is, this can, this can be a man here. Okay? Because the thinking man came out look appreciation somebody appreciate you okay so sometimes listen no matter how things sound at the end of the day is always a solution to things okay and this is what people are figuring out somebody didn't have any solution when it came down to being in this energy of uh, like couldn't choose or, or or having indecision because they were dealing with a karmic attachment a dark one at that that always had some type of hostilities about themselves okay someone that was very envious here Okay, someone found all this out. This could be someone that kept this hidden. Yeah, look, the grass wasn't green on their side. Okay, or this is someone that didn't want someone to leave them behind and go take a leap of faith on themselves here. Okay, yep, but and it wasn't victorious. It, it's not going to be victorious either. It's over, collective. What else, Holy Spirit? Look, man holding a coin. Somebody got hit in their pockets for the shoes an adult comic collective it's just like over for whoever this is finances okay so they have two different men out here okay one is someone's twin flame and another one with someone's provider and whoever this person that, that was providing and not thinking using their intuition their finances is gone and it's gone for good collective it's gone for good here okay somebody attached themselves to the wrong demonic entity here collective and also, whoever this is, is karmic as well. Let's let's get that understood, okay? The number seven is on here. The 43 is broken down, so seven is in the reverse. Because whoever this is, is karmic, all right? This is someone that possibly tried to steal someone else's uh, life, livelihood, or could have been thinking of a way to do this, or could have been thinking of a way to make someone think that they were the yin to the yang. All kind of games was going on here, collective. Look, all tied up. They all tied up. Spirit said they all tied up, collective. You just got an amber alert. <laughs> what do we have here? Look, cornucopia. 
in the reverse. It's over. Whoever this dark attachment is, because this attachment card came out head up. Okay, whoever this is that I, I'm picking up on, listen. They mass is completely off, or this is representing that whoever this thinking man is, that's the yin to someone yang, since this is two different scenarios going on here, and I know y'all picked up on that. This thinking man snatched this mask clean off this dark clump. Okay, it's over. However, and all these cars in the reverse could be representing that they have a man that's not lo no longer investing in someone. Someone is no longer giving someone any finances here. Someone is not investing in trying to help no one build any type of cor corporate. They are not trying to give someone no victory anymore because the grass wasn't green on the side. And they lied about it. It's the way that they did things. Someone here could have even possibly had a chance with someone here. But the way that they did things, it messed everything up. And the reason why is because someone held someone here in high honor. A dark karmic individual. Somebody was basically uplifting someone that was totally against them. Okay? And that's what's going on. What's going on here? Look, a contract. Somebody blindly went into some type of contract, you guys. They thought someone was true here. Yeah, look, what a thinking woman in the reverse. With somebody that didn't, that can't think past go. Okay? And that was somebody's karma as well. And whatever contract they went into with this person, they lost all their finances collective. Yep. And now someone is ready to be happy with their person here. Somebody know that they have a yin to their yang and this is what's going on. Somebody know that they are chosen and whoever their person is is a chosen one as well. What else, Holy Spirit? Look, somebody tapped all the way in. Tap, tap, tap in. Okay? Someone could be 40. Look. I wish I wasn't in love with you. And this what happened. Somebody was in love with, a, with the devil. Okay? woman holding a coin this you guys energy okay somebody is going after the happiness and that's you someone that uses their mind someone that thinks someone that tapped in someone that that's gifted okay and not just so much that you are gifted someone know that you are their gift okay or somebody could have told somebody oh somebody drowning in disappointment Okay, look, yeah, these people are not protected at all. Archangel Michael. Why is Archangel Michael in the reverse? Yeah, Archangel Michael say it will be no healing. They are not protected. They're not fighting for anything to try to save someone, help someone, any of that. Okay, door the person in healing and happiness is in the reverse here. What else? Yup, the goddess of the moon. He say he worked for the divine. All right. Yep. Look, somebody should have used their intuition, but it's in a reverse collective. What else? A whole community, a whole gang, gang, gang of people. Look, angel of balance in a reverse. Yeah, this is not good. Patience. So the divine being patient and let them build up all this um, karma for themselves. And now they all tied up in it, collective. They all tied up in it. From the choices that they made collective. Somebody is in the energy of if they can't be happy, then you know they don't want to see no one else act happy. That's weird. What else, Holy Spirit? What else do you want the collective to know? What else do we have it for the collective? Thank you. Look, Knight of Wands. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. Somebody dumb were running in and out of someone's life. Or someone. Someone done. I can't make it up. Four wands. This fell on the floor, guys. Someone done. Someone is ready to... Or someone lost... Listen, it's two scenarios, right? Or going on. So the first scenario is someone want to marry someone. The second scenario is someone left something behind for some type of marriage or something like that. The third one is someone lost some passion for someone. It could be someone that they married to, okay? Or was close to it or something like that going on. What else, Holy Spirit? What else? 
page of cups. Yep. Someone not someone wasn't sorry for their actions here. Okay, look, the sun. Okay. And I'm picking up on whoever this dark entity is. They were not sorry for trying to come in the middle of some type of marriage here. They wanted to have you guys all tied up. But you guys freed yourselves and healed yourselves. And that's the reason why you guys are getting this. Okay, this year. And at the bottom of the deck is the sun right here. Your ultimate happiness is here, collective. We have the sun called here. And they burdened by that. These are people that are burdened by your happiness. That's why they was doing spell work. Look. We have a queen of swords. You could be one of all, all this dark attachment. Yeah. Queen of pentacles here. Okay. This didn't do nothing but make you focus and be like, the best revenge is my paper. Queen of pentacles energy here. Yep. No justice will be served for these karmic individuals. And that's the reason why Archangel Michael is in the reverse. And the daughter person in healing and happiness. And we did someone more. Somebody said they fortunate to have you collective, okay? With the sun card being out here. They're not getting any justice here. Yeah, they're going to always forever be some type of option here, okay? Yeah, the sneakiness is done, though. Okay, the angels are working for you guys at this time, yep. Somebody could have lost their gift here, the ace of pentacles, and you guys are gaining. Look, yep, third party situation over, work-related Whatever, if this a boss, this an end to this because someone left to go after their self-employment here. You you left this job, okay? You left this job. And most of you, it may sound like a love relationship, but this could even be co-workers or something of that sort. This don't this possibly don't even have most of for some of you, this don't have it may be resonating on a whole nother level. It may not even be resonating uh, from the aspect of love or relationship. Okay, because you guys feel like you know everything about that part already. It's about knowing about everyone that's around you at this time. Okay, and then there's nine of swords energy, okay? And the reason why you feel like this may be some type of love-related union or relationship, okay, when they're giving you messages about people that's surrounding you is because these people really are like real life obsessed with you. It could be one time seeing somebody, okay, I'm telling you about that one time thing. Then they want to cling to you because they can pick up on your energy. These are Decepticons to you guys. Yeah, their world is upside down. Okay, Page of Pentacles. Someone could be attaching themselves to you because they know you're about to receive a windfall. Or you already did. Or you already abundant. Or you already rich. And and damn, they, listen, Jesus didn't deny them from the Father, okay? Because they refused to repent and give God the glory. So now their finances is in the reverse. So they're trying to, they out here fishing, okay? They out here fishing for people that they can try to attach themselves to that they know is a good person they have good energy so because they feel like some of these people are very childish here these people get go like getting childlike energy even if you are out in public and say you meet someone or you went with some co-worker or something that been behind the scenes working against you if you spending something they on the side of you the whole time telling you about oh my bill not paid or i have to do this because they know you'll be like well here they'll take anything that's why we heard breadcrumbs okay they'll take anything okay as long as they could get anything from you that's cool okay the moral to the story is taken away from you the moral to the story is it became it came from you if i'm making sense right we have a knight of cups here this is not love related because somebody want to come in and offer you this love somebody really genuinely love you collective and this love is is reciprocated as well four of cups some of you gonna be turning somebody down as well Okay, some of you meditated on this, some of this, some of you coming to this decision, and that's why indecision was here. Coming to this indecision, this this decision here was not good because I couldn't even get to what I was trying to say just now. It was not good. Okay, it wasn't easy either. But some of you, I hear wrote Timmy, I do. Some of you are getting married. That's just for the ones that don't want it. Everything out here, okay, everything out here, but whoever this is that's in this sun energy. Listen, somebody appreciate you all and all that you do. They want this happy family with you. 
this is your person. And most of you, you're not going to just give up on your person that easy. You're just not. Okay? Some of you in it for, for better or worse. Some of you are married. Some of you are thinking about marrying this person. Some of you don't care about if you got to go through for better or worse with this person. And that's just period. Look, it's 104 on, on likes. And look, four right here. Something about this four. Okay? Oh, yeah, spirit say double up. Okay? So it's going to double up for you and this person. Two and two. All right? Something about 22 this year. Listen. Yay. And, and, and for everyone that's going against you guys, they won't have no balance in their life. This is the second time the angel of balance is right here. Okay? And then we have temperance in the reverse. They won't have any balance. Yeah. They want to be a rival, but deceit called right here in the reverse. So, they got defeated. However, yep, they, look, did somebody have bad memories with someone? Yep, look at this. A queen of cups or this is you. Okay? This is you. This is going to be someone's mother, baby mother, or this is you. A cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Scorpio is out here. I don't know if someone is leaving one behind, or I don't know if someone is going to one. A Pisces is out here as well. Okay? Take it as it resonates. Yeah, look, we had a three of wands here. Okay? This could also be someone that didn't want to see your ships come in. Okay? Somebody wants you to have a bad experience and bad memories with someone here. Okay? Yep. But Emperor in the reverse, guys. Look. Five of Swords energy right here. Okay? And that's the reason why somebody finances in the reverse. Because you are someone that's a being of light. You are someone that surrendered. This person right here is in the upright here. Okay? This person is in the reverse. And that's why this is the second time the King of Pentacles came out like this, right? Their finances done. No, that was a man holding a coin. Same thing. Look, yeah, because they wasn't true. They, somebody just tried to not do the work and come in and and uh cling to you collective. And this is the, this is for the ones that don't want this person. I saw somebody say that in the chat that they don't want this person back. They done done. And this is part of the reason why that you guys don't want this person back. But for the ones that do, you're getting exactly what you want unless it's not meant for you. Some of you just gone with the flow. Okay? Even though you may love someone and be in love with someone, it's like, if it's meant for me, it's going to happen for me. I'm not about to chase. I'm not about to put myself out there like that. Some of you could have already did that already. Look, she said, I want it. And, and, and you getting what you want at this time. So make sure you tap in into that 111. You manifesting the thoughts in your reality. You manifesting your reality with your thoughts. Okay? Make sure you are doing that. And I said it the wrong way, but it was the right way the first time. Bring your manifestations into reality. So it can not only just be a dream. It can be your real, true reality, guys. All right? Yeah, someone is not going to be a stalemate to you. Someone wants this new passion and beginning just like you do as well. Okay, but somebody had to come up out of these obstacles that they were facing. Now, this is these karmic energies, these dark en energies. They are stuck in this. This is not you guys' energy. Yup, they stuck in this book and hoarding. This is not you guys' energy. Yup, look, two of cups in the reverse. Did, did, somebody found out about some dark energies here. Yup, that they weren't spending no time with God here. Okay, that they ain't have no type of godliness in them. And somebody not taking a leap of faith towards them. Somebody right here already just sitting there. They try to have somebody here. They try to hang somebody up to dry here. Okay? Look, the moon told them. They moved on. And this could also be a king of wands this happened to. That they use their intuition. They will of fortune is in the reverse. They karma. They stuck. They stuck. This is this is not representing a slow but stable offer. This is representing somebody being stuck here. Okay, they tried to call in judgment, but it didn't work. Look, eight of pentacles, it did not work. Okay, look. Yeah, somebody stuck with a uh an MVP in the reverse. So this is why whoever this is don't want someone back anymore. Somebody done with the backstabbing and betrayal. Somebody done with hearing about somebody being with someone else as well. Okay? Somebody done with somebody dealing with someone that they know is doing spell work on the, the yin to the yang as well. This is what this representing. Like, nope, that's it. Yeah, look. But somebody don't want something to end. Look, success in the reverse is not going to be successful. You guys broke out of bondage already. The star in the reverse again. They don't have no strength. A king of swords in the reverse. Third parties in the reverse. 
the devil in reverse. Okay, so they want this devil to attach themselves. You, the devil, knew better. He came out in the reverse right with them, and that means this devil is trailing them to make sure all these things that they put out on you and about you happen to them. And look, this how they ending up in the Five of Cups energy collective. That's what's going on. Okay, I pulled one out today. It says gratitude is an offering, precious in the sight of God, and it is one that the poor, the poorest of us can make and be not poor, but richer for having made it. A W Towser. And then it says it is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to the Most High. Psalm chapter ninety-two, verse one. So, guys, if you like my content, if it resonated with you at any time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Also. Hit that notification bell so you can see me go, uh, go live and, and I said they're wrong. <laughs> they go another donkey, y'all. <laughs> Listen, make sure you hit that notification bell so you can see me girl go live and update new content. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace, love, and blessings.